Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to look at the uh, serial communications uh, between the Raspberry Pi Model 5 and other small computers. So um, let's have a look at the projects. And um, I'm looking at comms. So uh, the idea would be that we can take a computer like the uh, Sedeno uh, Shaol and um, communicate between the two so that um, a lot of the input-output workload can be done by a remote computer uh, and communicating the commands between them and the results over a serial port. So I've done a bit of this before, and an example would be farm beats. And um, we used the Grove hat, which had a small microcontroller, an SM32, which was uh, communicating with Grove modules. But um, the project I want to show today is communicating between Raspberry Pi and a Windows PC and a micro bit. So uh, let's have a look at um, this project. So my desktop is um, here, similar to what I had before, but um, I'm going to uh, look at the new debug port and I'm putting in the cable uh, into um, the Raspberry Pi Model 5. And I had a, a bit of trouble with that because I've actually, if you look at the photo, you'll notice that the back part of it is broken. So I ha had a bit of trouble um, putting that um, cable in. And to communicate with the microbit computer, I'm going to use the traditional uh, GPIO ports um, on the 40 pin edge connector. So uh, that's what it looks like. And the objective is to get um, the microbit and a Windows PC to send messages to the Raspberry Pi over a UART. And it's not only going to, these are not just going to send messages, but they'll receive messages from the Raspberry Pi. And uh, from the Windows PC, I'm going to use an Arduino serial uh, monitor. I'm going to communicate um, on the Raspberry Pi either with the um, ports AM0 or AM10. So for AM0, it's um, using the GPIO pins 14 and 15 on the 40 pin edge connector. And on the 10, that's using the new debug port with a, a uh, extra debug cable, which I purchased. Uh, I also would like to get additional UARTs working such as UART2, and I'll ex explore that also. So for my hardware, I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi Model 5, uh, and I'm also going to use the microbit together with the bitmaker, and that's going to give me a Grove connection that goes to um, the Raspberry Pi via a uh, Grove cable. And the cables that I'm using, um, I'm going to use the new UART debug port and um, that uh, will use the uh, cable that I've uh, purchased from eBay, um, $7.61. The connections, well, for the micro bit, you can see the connections are um, three uh, wires and I'm using a Grove cable with DuPont female headers and there's a crossover for the communications so um, when I'm transmitting from the um, micro bit on uh, port 14 I'm receiving that uh, on the uh, Raspberry Pi model 5 and you can see how those 40 pins, um, the function of them, and um, GPIO 8 and 10 are reserved 
for uh, uh, the serial port. Okay, so uh, there's my debug cable and the connections uh, for that to the Windows PC. So the design's very simple. I'm just going to transmit ASCII strings for my communications. Uh, so software-wise, on the PC, I'm going to use the Arduino serial monitor. And on the Raspberry Pi, I'll be uh, using the operating system bookworm. But I also have to configure uh, to make sure that the um, debug, uh, the serial console, is switched off. So after I've inserted the debug cable and ready to communicate, I just switch that off under the configuration. And um, for my trials, my Raspberry Pi has a um, uh, SS drive, but um, since I'm doing a lot of experiments and don't want to muck up the operating system, I'm going to boot from a um, micro SD card. Okay, so the other software, I'm going to use um, the, uh, let's have a look. I'm going to use Node-RED with a very simple um, flow here. We might go across and have a look at that now. So we'll, we'll just look for Node-RED on the Chrome browser. And here it is here. So um, the two nodes, to get those, if you um, select the in uh, the uh, inject and um, the payload that I want from that is going to be a string, I can put in any string I like there. And uh, I want to insert that in to my um, uh, UART. Now, to get the UART, I just go down to serial out. And I configure that for the port. So the port I want is AM10 and it's on 9600 board. So it's ready to go there and that's uh, duplicated down there. So you can see it's connected. And to get messages from remote devices like the microbit, I just simply um, go down, uh, go back to my serial in and configure that for the uh, right port. So the same specs as the other one, and I uh, use a debug, so a node. So bring the debug node across and just connect those. And there I've got my other connection. So um, what we've got at the moment is um, we might um, deploy that. You can see it's correctly deployed. And what I'm going to do is um, bring up on my um, Arduino monitor, I'm going to type in a message just at random, random string. And you can see when I type that in, it appears on my debug port on node red. And if we go back to um, our Arduino serial monitor and we send a message, that message um, comes up on the uh, serial port here. So we might get rid of that and do it again and bring back the serial monitor. So with the message that we've got here, which is... Um, embedded in that node goes across via the serial monitor. And we do a similar thing with the uh, micro bit and we can communicate uh, using the serial ports in both directions uh, with either a micro bit or any other 3.3 uh, volt based system uh, to the Raspberry Pi Model 10. Let's go back to our... Um... Now, the other thing I tried to do was to get activate additional UART ports. I didn't have a lot of success for that. Um, so this the methods to get it going, if I wanted to get the UART3 going, I should use a uh, an overlay, a, 
a DT overlay. Then have a look at the um, uh, the ports or the GPIO pins that um, are used. So uh, you can see when I actually did that, uh, this was the result. And if you look at the allocation of all those GPIO pins, the only one that's allocated uh, for the serial is the transmit and receive on one. So we haven't successfully allocated and um, shown the um, UART3 port. So um, not so successful on that issue. So overall, I was able to get messages um, to and from the Raspberry Pi to a, a Windows PC and to a microbit computer. I was able to do that on Node-RED and uh, I got messages like this. And I also got the uh, messages to the Windows PC on the Arduino serial port. Uh, I wasn't able to uh, add additional UART um, ports to my Raspberry Pi, so that's something I'm still investigating. Okay, so some of the issues. Um, uh, not always easy uh, to get this going. So I had a uh, another Model 5, and it didn't work, even though the hardware and the software were identical. And it may be that... Um, Sometimes you have to reboot to get the results uh, working. And I uh, also tried removing some of the hats to see if that would make a difference. Also notice that Node-RED would only work with one UART. So while I had two UARTs available, only one would work at a time. And I was able to get the debug port working but I did break the plastic on the socket on the Model 5. And I couldn't install additional UARTs. So here are some of the references. Uh, stay tuned and I'll give you a uh, desktop demonstration. Here on the Raspberry Pi 5, we're looking at serial communications. And the first one, I have a serial link. Uh, this is the traditional one that goes on the um, Raspberry Pi GPIO uh, port. And uh, the pins here are going into a uh, microbit. So the microbit um, is using port 8 and 14. And um, we'll demonstrate that now. So uh, what we have is um, that serial link. And uh, what I'm going to do is um, uh, go to node red and uh, fire up a node. So let's go across. This is our node on node red. And uh, what I'm going to do in the debug port is remove everything. And you'll notice that I'm getting messages. These messages are uh, coming in from the... Um, serial uh, from the Arduino so you can actually see that if we go across to the uh, Arduino uh, to the micro bit you can see that I'm transmitting the message um, here forever which is just simply um, se a series of numbers and if I get a message um, from Raspberry Pi I'm going to print it on the um, LED array of micro bit so uh, let's go across and do that now. So we'll we'll clear the debug and we'll uh, transmit. So uh, we'll go back to our micro bit and that message is coming from the um, Raspberry Pi and it's um, going onto the um, micro bit. And uh, we might clear all that. And we'll have a look at um, another port, which has um, only become available on the Raspberry Pi Model 5. And that's the debug port. So we've got it here after um, removing the top hats. Um, I have um, put in the um, serial port here. And we'll have a look at the operation of that in a minute. 
So this time on our Raspberry Pi Model 5, we're going to use the new debug port. And I've turned off the console, um, and I'm going to transmit messages via Node-RED from here to my Windows PC. So my Windows PC is over here, and um, if I want to send a message using the Arduino serial monitor, here I'm just putting in random text and I'm going to uh, send that off and that message will go across to um, the uh, node red so we've got node red configured and I'll do the same again and you'll see the message come uh, there it is now it's just come up now and I can send a message from my Raspberry Pi via node red and uh, if I just press that button the message will go across to my Arduino serial port and that's using the new debug port on Raspberry Pi Model 5